Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we will talk about Oracle Integration Certification 2024. And yes, in the last of that video, I will show you the latest questions, like for example, that which I, I face during the certification exam. It will help you to prepare. So in the upcoming videos, I will show you many more with questions related to the certification. But yes, in this video, we will completely talk about the syllabus and exam patterns, what's the weightage of all the modules, everything we will discuss about that. So before going to start, let me go through you that once you will go for the certification, once you will pass the exam. So this time they have done the bit changes. Earlier, if you remember, in the last year, there were total 55 questions you have to be solved during your certification. But now this time the question number is changed to 50 and the passing a score you required 68% minimum. If you want to qualify for the certification, want to pass the certification, you have to get minimum 68%. And obvious if you will go for that, so once you will clear the examination, you will get certificate that OIC 2024 certificate. And yes, obviously, you will have option to get the download from the batch and that batch you can share over the LinkedIn and anywhere using that their portal. So coming to that, uh, the certification, it, the name is that become an application integration professional and that code is IZ01042024 that here 2024, 24 defined that the years in which year they are going to release. And yes, if you will appear for the certification before that, you have to go through the course, which is the OIC related course. If you are already familiar about the course content, you don't need to be worried about it. Just you have to go through your basics. And yes, if you are new in this OIC, you have to just go through that course. And while learning this OIC, you will learn about the below topics. You will learn about the defining the configuration of the connection. OIC mappers, you will be able to use the flow in OIC. You will be able to use like how you can process the files in Oracle integration. And that's more important part. You will be able to learn how you can invoke that external API that can be the REST API or the SOAP web services. All these things you are going to learn in the, in the OIC tutorials. Yes, if you want, you can go through the playlist. In the playlist, you will be able to find Generation 2 and Generation 3 so the, uh, tutorial uh, playlist I already created. And yes, in this modules, like if you will go to the OIC, there are total five modules they define and each and every modules having their own weightage. If you will go to the first module, that is where you will learn about the basic of OIC, what is OIC, all the connectivities and all these things. The total number of weightage for this modules is 18%. And what topics you are going to learn in this modules, I am going to just describe in next upcoming slide. And now here next we have OIC using OIC connect connections and adapters. You will have the 21% of weightage for this module. After that we have creating orchestration integration. That how you can create app driven integration. What is the benefit of that? All the limitation request configuring the request and response payload. All these things you will learn about that one. And the weightage is 40%. And the next is creating schedule integration and obviously here you will learn about the limitation of schedule integration, the time bounding and the adding the business identifier, all these things, yes, you are going to learn and having the weightage of 11%. And the last not least, they have the testing, monitoring and table setting integration with the weightage of 16%. And what kind of topics you are going to learn on each and every module that you will be able to see here. In the first where you are going to learn about the basic of OIC, you will learn about describing the key components of OIC and the features, explain OIC integration concept, summarize how you can integration work and discuss web services fundamental just like WSTL, the SOAP, REST, JSON, all these things. In the next module where you will learn about the connections and adapters, you will learn about how you can create connection. How you can configure connection as a trigger, invoke and trigger and evoke and obvious it will discuss about the connectivity agent here. In your certification exam, you will get various questions related to certificate, related to the connectivity agent. And in the third module that is creating orchestration integration where you will learn about working with app driven integration or in generation 3 it's called as application integration where you will learn about the lookups, you will learn about the OIC data mappers. You will learn about calling the JavaScript library functions in OIC, adding and configuration orchestration flow action, just like in, in our integration, how you can 
call another integration that's the parent and child concept you will learn about implementing the file handler concept and obviously you will learn about the fault handler using that scope and how you can handle the error in your integration everything you are going to learn in this module coming to the fourth module that is creating schedule integration which is, is only 11 percent and here you will learn about defining the schedule integration you will be able to know how you can convert that schedule integration into app driven integration by adding the trigger and point and you will learn about the schedule parameters as we noted we have total number of five max to max schedule parameter everything you will learn in this module i have already created separate separate tutorials for that you can just visit the playlist of that youtube videos youtube channel and you will be about to learn everything in the fifth modules we have testing monitoring and troubleshooting integration where you will learn about the activation and the activation of the integration what is the limitation in that you will learn about the test risk connection based integration how you can test your integration by passing the values and checking from the monitoring dashboard everything you will learn about that you will learn about how you can import and export your integration from one instance to another instance monitoring you will learn about that and how you can troubleshoot your integration if your integration having any issues by checking the logging dashboard all this thing and obvious once you will able to complete your certification exam you will have option to get the batch and as i discussed that in last of that video i will be i will show you the questions which recently asked in that oic certification for the year 2024 you can see these questions are the newly introduced in this certification it was not previously added so the question if you will be able to see that in which scenarios is that oracle integration connectivity isn't not required they have given four options out of that you have to select any one which is the not required the correct option you can pause the screen you can take a screenshot you can solve and yes in upcoming videos i will i will uh, show you that various uh, questions whatever i face in in, the, in certification it's near 50 questions plus 10 additional questions i will be able to say in the next question if you will be able to see the question is what which statements about the oracle integration connectivity agent is not valid so here you can see again you have four options that create the agent group automatically create an OAuth client applications and there are three other differences thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video helpful don't forget to subscribe our channel in upcoming videos i will i will show you the all the latest questions whatever it comes in oic certification 2024 Thank you so much again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video with your colleagues, with your teammates. Thank you so much again.